job. <coughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Wherever the flower you are. Today, yep, like I said, back on the walk down, Latics v Pompey. This will be interesting. Portsmouth are uh, upper end of the table. I think they're probably fourth or fifth right now. Because I think there's a game going on at the moment. I'm not completely sure. I'll check on that when I actually get inside the stadium. I know I'm supposed to know my stats before I start recording, but everyone knows that I just ramble and I do this as I want. <sighs> yeah, after the mess of um, Wednesday night with the rugby, that was just a farce. Let's just say that. Tuesday nights, uh, absolute, just limbs, just limbs. That's all I'm saying on that. Just limbs. Anyway, today is definitely going to be a different test. Portsmouth are a bit of a stronger team than us at the moment. But then again, it is still early season. So a lot of it is going to be, again, like it was with Bolton. Kind of early season arm wrestles. See how it goes. Not doing too badly, actually. Either team. Plus Portsmouth, again, are one of those teams that have been in the Prem and have dropped down. So, you know, plus I think, I think it's Portsmouth that their owner is um, ex-Disney CEO Eisner. So, yeah, the Disney boys, as some people would nickname them, but they're not. I think Eisner just helps out. He's kept them stable and all that longer than a bit of stability. He's helping them, but, you know, hey, there's also... Um, been a bit of a bit of a post up on um, on Twitter about Jack Wiltshire looking for a club. Wiltshire could possibly be here. Well, I don't doubt he's actually here right now, but you know, because our chairman just like sent him a message over Twitter just saying basically you'd be uh, welcome here. So, what do you, what what y'all think on that? What's y'all's ideas on that? An ex-Arsenal man, ex-international for England, I believe, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that would be uh, good to get some decent signings in here, especially with some of the lads that we've got, because they'll be able to help the younger lads bring it up. Anyway, see you at the seat. So I'll look at what's actually going on in the table. It's for third. I think I could have thought on 10 points. We're 10th on 7 points. That is because Rotherham are playing at the moment. But as I'm recording this, they're winning 2-0. There's about 15 minutes of that game left to go. So, yeah. That all Rotherham will push his legs if they stay as they are winning. I don't know what this game is going to be like this. It is early season and True Farm hasn't kicked off yet. But it's just like a good turn And for what, over 300 miles south, good smattering the Portsmouth fans of this, it's not too bad. We've already had a, we've already heard Pompey chime once as they were doing the uh, team out. So, you know, it's already, it's going to be quite nice. So, today is going to be an interesting day. If anyone's got any ideas of how to improve it, apart from being able to get views on the field, because I can't get anything on the field, remember. I've covered that one before. Okay. So, hopefully this will be a good game. I would like to see a couple of goals in it and see if we can win. Obviously, so. It's a battle in loss or a draw. Not all of us. Yes, I would love a win. A battle in the game would be nice. But yeah, I am pretty much. Just, you know, I'm like 20 seats from where I was the other day. I'm a bit close to the goal. Eventually, I will sort out one for the goal. But you never know. Hey, we will see how that goes, so I will find that everybody else. 
Pulls with Gorna. See how this one floats in. Good head out. We're pretty even so far. This both have had this slightly upper hand on that one. There was a moment where the ref could have blown, but yeah, at least the players actually played to the whistle. If the ref didn't blow, it was a bit like you know, a 50 50 chance between two. So that could have gone really well. And yeah, for those of you who can, who say, can I hear what's going on with the awareness book? Yes, I can. We just got a bit of a raiding chance, but we did. Just slowed it down a little bit. Sometimes this play from the back can get you into trouble. It just seems to be our, our way of settling it down. But, you know, yeah, because of the way the roof in here is sloped to these two goal sides, it acts like a bit of a cannon for the noise. So if it was only about 100 or so workouts, you could hear them all the way up, even into the sides, you could hear it everywhere. Yeah, you can hear you guys a lot. Pompey fans, if you, if you do watch this, stick your uh, thoughts back. Because uh, so far from my angle, yeah, this is looking like a quite even arm wrestle. With Pompey sometimes on top. But we do have a few chances every now and then. It's good, it is still quite even. It is just sort of... Missed opportunity then to sow a bit of an overlap on the wide side. Just, just boiled away. Anyway, should a bit. Was that a pen? Just saying. From my angle, it looked like it could have been, but then again, maybe there wasn't enough contact. It was squeezed between two players. Got a bit of an offside ball. You know, that we had another moment where it was minimal contact to a Portsmouth player. Portsmouth player, to be honest, yes, rightfully as contact is the way that the game is. If you do feel contact, you are on the way down. Do make the most of the game. All players do. Top league to bottom league, everyone does it. So they got a bit of a free kick out of it. It fizzed away to them. Wigan could have had a penalty though, could, but again, for my angle, I do not know. We're on the raid again. Sometimes, it, sometimes decisions don't go your way, but you just want to keep your head and play to the whistle, try to make the best out of it. Situation. Just while Pompey are on the raid now. Someone give him a bounce for you. Do a little defensive set. And then just get the ball to halfway. Just keep trying to keep it out your half. That's all you're going to try and do with this play. Keep playing with it. Why are you slowing it down? You're on the raid now, come on. Come on, I'm gonna let you ride along. Oh. Making close to it. Very growing close to it. Close to it goes down. Close to it goes down. Yeah. Riding along. Drop the contract, take the speed out. Maybe he wasn't the same behind the player, but I doubt it. The ref did look like it. I haven't got a clue who the first player was there. It's a little bit unbalanced, but hey, at the moment it is end to end. Whoever comes out of this with with it, out of this with the pressure pot at the moment, is still going. Cool. And again, 
again. Might have to the plans. There we go. So. Is it pump the corner? Yes. Twenty-six minutes gone, still nil nil. Pompey with a corner. Now, how is this going to play out? Is it going to be another good defensive set, or is it going to pop in? You'll be able to tell by the noise of it, whichever way this one goes. In a second, scramble in the box and cleared.
Sean or seventh Sean. Still ends around. Chances are coming in here and there, but no one's taking the grasp yet. Can probably hear that. They're making a nice lot of noise. It's just chances are coming, but they're just not being taken. Both sides. Still a close game, still quite tasty. This is not quite, not quite falling for us just yet. This is a little raid away, go, go straight. It has been um, very close. Come check this one in. Just feels a little slow. Yeah, I was right with uh, the time Bolton losing away. Well, it's not too bad. To be honest, this game needs a goal. It needs a goal. We need to take these chances that are coming up. Because as the game goes on, the energy levels are going to drop and everyone's going to get tired, obviously. It's going to be tight. We just need to keep on it. Start wasting up jeans. Don't let it go out. Well, sometimes as well, maybe push forward. Don't just play from the back. Which is what's happening a lot right now. They are playing from the back quite a lot. But it seems to be our stable place. Could have had a chance of it just having to a little too far. Hey, it's not a bad game. Got a goal. Give him a bit of a slippy flare. This is slippy flare. He put absolutely barrel down the left. Just a slippy man. Straight through. Tip from the goal. Well, sideline. Left the middle. He kicked it all the way. On the side into the box, just got missed by one of the players who was closer to the keeper. Comes out wide, Lang just gets in, lashes it in. Good shot. Very then, 12 minutes normal time to go. Can we hold on? Or a bomb pig and have another save? Finally, the goal's got, the game has got a goal. Something to make some noise, something to hold on to. But Pompey are quite strong at this. They are quite good at pressing. Just at the moment. But we give them any chance, they could not take them off any mistake. So we have to be careful. It was a bit of a close flash, that was. That was a close flash. This game's been like that quite a few times. Players have been into each other quite a bit. Not bad, but there has been a few moments when he's a little bit on, so it's getting close anyway. But at least it's not boiling over. The row behind us are one is normal, but it's sometimes only one way. Well, they're turning it into, into a two-way. Because it's supposed to be a two-way road anyway. But sometimes it only operates one. But they are doing everything in two ways now. I think that's going to focus in on me, but whatever. Not a bad result, that. 1-0. I don't know if I'd take it. If it happened that way, and it has. But it did look more like Pompey were going to get some out of that. Especially with that last five minutes, because it was uh, it was end to end, and it did look more like Pompey were going to get some of that, make some of that pressure count, but it didn't quite. He just didn't quite get over the line with that. But, hey, three points is three points. Especially when, at the time of recording, Bolton are losing, still one nil. So they lose to us in the cup, and then they lose, and they go away again. 
hey, that's that. Not a bad one. Could have been a little bit better. There was a couple of other chances for goals to go in. But to be honest, it could really have been to a piece with everything. Especially with how the how everything else is going and quite a lot with that. It was uh, not a bad, not a bad way, not a bad result. And I'm going blank because of the sunny days. But hey, it was fun. Anyway, we have views that are in the day below. Even from the poppy side. You know, stick your, stick, uh, stick your views and what you could see and how you felt that went. Whether you've got any uh, ups or downs or any other takes on that. Some of those freaks were a little, some of those uh, free kick moments were a little bit iffy, but that's for both sides to be honest. Raf didn't make too many bad misses. Bad misses. There was one or two uh, slide pushes here and there that could have gone the other way. But you never know sometimes with how it goes. It wasn't it wasn't a bad game. But, hey, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be at the uh, at the Wolves under uh, the uh, Bastards and Wolves game. I'm not sure on that. Just, to be honest, that's a seven o'clock kickoff. I don't think I'm going to be. Uh, back in time after the, after all the other stuff that's going on with that so uh, I don't know after the last video I posted up about uh, you know, mental state and everything but doing stuff like this it kills three or four hours it fills your time it helps you forget about reality and forget about the world sometimes so it does help you out a little bit with your mental state and everything. So sometimes the sport can be a bit of a, a healer for everything. And in regards to that close friend of mine, uh, he is getting better. There is a few uh, signs of positivity coming out of that. Uh, so that will be uh, fun. One day we might be able to sit at opposite sides of a stadium from each other. Because he is a MK Don's fan. It's about as much as I can give away. But yeah, it's uh, so. There's that. Anyway, I will leave you as he finally I can actually see myself as it views in on, on me just a little bit. Is it what? No. So as I just said, stick your takes on how you feel the game went down below. If you like it, if you like this kind of content and you want to help the channel grow, then smash the like, comment, share the bejeebus out of this stuff and don't forget, give that sub button a black eye, smash it like your Tyson Fury. Go on. And with me, signing out. Peace.